But right now it's pleasant out. 64, mostly cloudy skies. And that wind has lightened some down to six miles an hour out of the northeast. So no UFOs on the radar at the moment. You can see a little bit of light rain, mainly from the metro downwards to around a tumor. So not looking at a whole lot as far as heavy rain goes. You look to the west, though, still clouds as far as the eye can see. But that didn't stop some folks from heading out and flying a few kites. This out in Johnston called Kites on the Green. Looks like they're having an absolutely wonderful time. Happy that they had the actual wind to make that happen. But over the next 24 hours here, oh, well, we've got decent temperatures starting the day off again, mild tomorrow. Mid 50s will be what we're waking up to tomorrow morning and likely seeing a sprinkle or two across the state. But we won't see those rain chances ramp up until tomorrow night and especially into the overnight. 40% chance by 9 p.m. all the way up to 70% by midnight. So rain is on the way and storms are on the way. And this is the big ugly system that's going to be driving those in. Right now centered down near Kansas or so. That's going to be slowly meandering its way eastward. And as it does so, you can see the mess of rain and thunderstorms that that'll be kicking up in the later portions of the day tomorrow. So if you've got outdoor plans, not a washout tomorrow by any stretch of the imagination. But you can see we do bring in some dribblers early on. Sunshine follows that. And even through noon, it's not bad. But then comes the system. And even by 7 p.m., you can see from a Tumwa tour on Omaha or so, that line begins to advance northeastward. And as it does so, bring the heavy showers and even the thunderstorms along with it. So plan for rain Sunday evening into Monday. And then again, chances for some stronger storms to form through Monday afternoon. You can see that new line forming as it pushes its way eastward. So most of us looking at um, some form of thunderstorms Sunday evening into Monday. Plan on rain if you do have outdoor plans. And some of us could see quite a bit of rain. Mainly areas off to the south. You can see by 10 o'clock tomorrow night, Lamoni up to Creston or so are already covered with a third of an inch or more. And things are going to continue to balloon from there into Monday as some of us pick up nearly an inch and into Tuesday. You can see out in Davenport, three and a quarter inches. So quite a bit of rain with this system. Thankfully not talking a lot yet. Tonight, 52 degrees. A few isolated uh, showers continue out there. 71 will be the high tomorrow. Have some isolated storms, better chances into the evening hours. So again, if you're looking to head out, the morning hours really aren't looking bad, even early afternoon hours. It's mainly going to be the evening that most of us will be looking at uh, thunderstorm activity. 69 for winter set, 71 in the metro areas off to the southwest have an equal chance at those showers and thunderstorms just a bit earlier. At 72 for Clorinda, 69 up there, Guthrie Center. Areas to the northwest will see the showers and thunderstorms largely hold off until early into the morning on Monday or even later into uh, late morning hours. So plan on a beautiful day if you're off to the northwest there. Pocahontas, 71 degrees, 70 for Marshalltown, 70 in Webster City, rain again holding off until uh, the early morning hours into Monday. But all sitting in the upper 60s to low 70s, so fairly comfortable, working a little bit of sunshine out there. But days of rain are ahead of us, at least scattered in nature by Tuesday and into Wednesday. After that, those rain chances drop off and we cool down a bit. 67 degrees with sunshine next Saturday.